Oh yeah, the YouTube struggle is real. Yo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. It's your man Earl, Batman Stringer. Now, it's been a trend lately <laughs> of, of YouTubers, you know, talking about how hard YouTube is, all right? And it's like, it's funny because now people are actually making uh, money talking about how hard it is to make money on YouTube that shit dope so as somebody who's been on YouTube for a long ass time I can definitely say YouTube is a struggle YouTube can be pretty difficult all right and like I'm watching a lot of these videos you know of other youtubers talking about their struggles and I'm like damn I can relate right I can relate because a lot of times when you do searches on how to be successful on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube, you're usually watching videos from successful YouTubers, right? You're watching videos of YouTubers who are claiming to make, you know, $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month from their channels. And you're sitting up there like, what the hell is this? Like I'm, I've done everything that was said in this video, but why the hell am I only getting 10 views? Right? Why the hell am I not monetized yet? Why why am I not getting five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars a month from, from my AdSense? Right? That's what the majority of people are going through. Something that I know and I definitely realized through the years is like for every successful YouTuber that's making ten thousand dollars a month from their YouTube channel, there's uh ten thousand people who aren't making a dime from their channel, right? So like a lot of times we as YouTubers or, you know, YouTubers who are not big YouTubers, we are constantly like racking our brains trying to figure out like what, what, what do we need to do? Like, where are we going wrong? Because like I said, I've been watching other YouTubers, including myself. And you look and you'd be like, well, why is this YouTuber in your mind? You're thinking this YouTuber is no better than what I'm doing, right? Their thumbnails is worse than mine or equal to mine, right? Their video got a hundred thousand views. Mine got a hundred. What the hell? Right? Like that's what a lot of YouTubers are thinking. And then you go and you do a search like with the gurus and what do they tell you? Oh, it's your thumbnail. Oh, it's your title, right? Oh, it's your description. Oh, you need to have uh, graphics at the very beginning of your video. Oh, you need a hook. Oh, you need an outro. Oh, oh shit. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So then we like, okay, okay. Then you go back, you try all these things. You still ain't getting the results you want. And then you still seeing other YouTubers who don't got a flashy title, right? They don't got a, a, a cool description. They don't got a, a flashy uh, thumbnail but they got a hundred thousand views, right? So this is the struggle that a lot of YouTubers are going through. In my opinion, to me, going through that struggle is going to make it even better when you get the results that you want. I firmly believe that the key to YouTube and finding success on YouTube is a couple things. One of them things is experiment. Right. I think you should experiment with different titles, experiment with different thumbnail concepts, experiment with different trends that's going on. Right. See what resonates with your particular channel. All right. Um, another thing is, you know, be consistent. Right. I, I think whether you're doing one video a week or one video a day, you know, I think you should really just stick with it no matter what, because I know you see all these damn videos on my channel. But no matter what, I'm still consistent, regardless of if the video is getting 10 views or 100 views or 1,000 views, right? I just keep going, period. I ain't stopping, right? Because I have a goal when it comes to YouTube and I'm not stopping. Another thing with YouTube, I feel like you should have something else going on, all right? Like don't, you know, do YouTube, jump on YouTube because you just quit your job and you're like, yo, I quit my job. I'm doing YouTube now, right? Because that will really drive your ass crazy when, you know, you post 30 videos and you got 20 views, right? And you ain't making no money. And, and now you, you're feeling desperate. You ain't got no money, right? So 
you need to have something else going on while you're building your YouTube channel. All right, because like I said, your mind will start playing tricks on you if you go into YouTube thinking that that's gonna replace your income and you know overnight. Because most likely that shit ain't gonna happen. So just know if you are a new YouTuber or a struggling YouTuber, you are not alone. Like there are way more people in your situation and our situation than there are, you know, these people making twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month from their YouTube channel. Like I said, I think the key is to experiment, be consistent, and ultimately have some damn fun with this. You know what I'm saying? Like the opportunity is there. You just gotta find it.